Hi everyone, in today's article I'm going to talk about our future as designers and AI coming into the field. Let's dive in! Are you scared about your future as a designer? Layoffs, AI and machine learning replace humans, influencers and the saturated content creation market. Inflation, NFTs and crypto, so many things happened in the past couple of years. There always will be work. If you're willing to do it, that is. If you think about it, you can reshape and change your job description and domain if you are a freelancer. Or you can do a career change by applying for a different type of job. You can take six months off if you have the savings to support yourself and learn a new skill that will give you a significant advantage on the market combined with the skill you already have. Self-taught professionals are as good as those having degrees and certificates. There are still niche segments of IT where creativity and human touch are needed. You can also do a complete shift and do something manual like gardening or cleaning, organizing houses and closets because you have that energy and the little OCD tendencies like me. <laughs> you can work with your hands, legs, mind, voice and anything you can think of. No dirty thoughts here, okay? But if you're confident enough, you can do this kind of work as well. As long as it's your own choice, that's alright. You probably think, how can I earn more by changing jobs and fields from creative to manual or any other? Well, by connecting the dots, by easily solving problems someone haven't thought of before, by trying and failing, by learning once again. Having a clear perspective on what your skills are or even having the bravery to explore them, use them or enhance them will help you get to the job you want. Getting to truly know yourself is probably the best thing you can do and invest towards. So my answer is no, I'm not scared. I can do manual labor as well as think of great strategies for your mobile app information architecture and website's user experience. Also, an important part of such transition here is what type of mindset you have. Are you believing in abundance or are you still struggling with the scarcity mindset? In one of my alternative life scenarios, I am living in a different coastal city as a volunteer with one suitcase and a dog, doing work that has immediate ROI, return on investment, because I can see my efforts being appreciated and needed in real time. In exchange, I get a daily wage, housing and free time during the week and weekends to explore participate in tours and sightseeing, meet new people and make memories. Yes, that is one of the alternative realities I see myself in, if I decide to close the laptop. What is your alternative life you imagine? What kind of scripts are you writing before you go to sleep? It can't be just me. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for listening and consider giving me a subscribe, like and share here on YouTube so the algorithm can know that I'm doing something nice. Thank you for your comments and feedback as well, which really keep me motivated to keep recording and uh, improve my content. Wish you a great week and if you want to be part of my uh, curious journey, you can find me also on Instagram. I post daily stories there related to freelancing, daily life, relationships, friendships and of course business. Uh, also on LinkedIn, I'm pretty active there as well. So. If you find interesting information and want to share it with me, you can find me there. See you in the next one. Bye!